Okay, hello everybody. Now, this video is talking about my new video series that I want to do. But, before I actually get started with that, the last video where I talked about all of my videos and how I made on, make them and what I do and show and I asked y'all a lot of questions. I asked y'all to answer a lot of questions in the comments below about all different ones. I forgot and left one out that I didn't mention and that is my Shay's Texting Time video series that I do. So of course I have several of y'all that does that. I love doing them. I want to stick with that one. Y'all must love it or y'all wouldn't have said y'all want to be involved and do it. The one sits on the list for that. And I put my email in the description under every video so that anybody else that wants to join that can email me, let me know. And you would need to give me your phone number. Because I text you out of the blue all of a sudden when I get to you in the list. And I'm making a video about it, and, and we're texting each other, and it's just a fun little thing to do. So, I kind of know that y'all like that, but still go in the comments below this one. Let me know if y'all do like the text and tone videos, <laughs> and what you like about it. Um, I just like to hear feedback from y'all, you know, about the different things, even though I like them, and I'm going to try to keep doing them. I still want to know how y'all feel about each of them and everything. Okay. Um, now, <clears throat> onward. The new video series I want to do. Okay. I have always Still trying to get myself in the middle of my screen. Oh, dear Lord, help me with that. This is, it's really frustrating to be this way and need to get myself in the middle of the screen because I can't never, and that frustrates me. Lord, take it away. Take that need away. Don't let me have to be in the middle of my screen. <sighs> okay. I have always my whole life I feel like it's too high but then it slants when I spread it all out and go down I want it even there we go but I'm not in the middle of the screen don't worry about you don't worry about it. <laughs> all right my whole life I have loved clubs And there's different words for that. You can call it club. You can call it group. You can call it circle. I like the word circle too, but um, I think I'm going to stick with club. And there's probably other words out there that it can be called. If any of you know, pause the video now, go down to the comments, and let me know. <laughs> um, but I like club my whole life. As a little kid, me and all my friends started clubs, had clubs, enjoyed the clubs, and had fun with them, you know. Even as a teenager, you know, I did clubs. After I became an adult, got married, okay, and started having my own kids, well, even before I started having my own kids, okay? We lived in Collins, Mississippi. I found a group of little kids, and I started up a club with, with them. And we would meet ever so often. I don't remember how much now. And I would come up with games and crafts and things for them to do. All right? So I loved that. When we moved from Collins to Vicksburg, Mississippi, I had Elizabeth. She was a baby. I had to leave that club behind. I hated that so bad. 
But my cousin, Melissa Graves, was helping me with that club. So, I asked her if she would mind, like, fully taking it over and continuing it after I moved, since I was having to move. And she did. Now, I don't know how long she stuck with it. I don't know how it went. I don't know how it ended up. And I think about that a lot. I need to talk to her and ask her if she even remembers that. How it went and how long she st stuck with it. Because I don't remember that now. But anyway, we moved to Vicksburg. Okay. Get to Vicksburg. Church we went to. I gathered, well, actually, we went to two different churches in Vicksburg. So the first one we went to, I gathered the little kids at the church, and I started a club with them. Okay? Done the same thing. Okay. Then, we didn't feel like that was the church for us anymore, so we changed churches. So that church we went to, I gathered the teenagers Okay, because I was getting older. My kids were getting older. Um, well, Katie was a baby, but Elizabeth was like a toddler, three years old. <laughs> but I gathered the teenagers, and I started a club with them. And we had fun and enjoyed it. Okay. Then we moved to Collins, Mississippi again. My kids are grown up more now. They're the older kids. And then they go into teenagers. But during that whole time, I first off, I put them in Girl Scouts. And see, when I was a kid, my mama never put me in Girl Scouts. Mama, why didn't you put me in Girl Scouts? I've asked her that before. She said it was because I was shy and didn't want to do nothing. Probably so. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. But I regret it. I wished I'd have went to Girl Scouts. What was I thinking? It was so, it would have been so fun. Anyway, stupid shyness. So anyway, I put my girls into Girl Scouts. I got them started with that. Well, when I seen how much fun they were having in Girl Scouts, I just couldn't handle it. I became a Girl Scout leader. <laughs> <laughs> so I became their Girl Scout leader, and I was both of them. Now they were both of my girls were different ages, of course. So you know, Elizabeth was in one Girl Scout thing, and Katie was in a different one. But I became both of them's Girl Scout leader. Okay, and I combined them together. We had one Girl Scout meeting, and I just did all of it. You know, I did the activities for Elizabeth's group, and I did the activities for Katie's group. We had fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Sad moment in time. My girls grow up into the teenage age. They go for a while with Girl Scouts, but then they start thinking... I'm too old for this. I don't want to do Girl Scouts no more. Blah. So they didn't want to do Girl Scouts no more. So they quit Girl Scouts. At that point, my group had swindled down, to be honest with you. It was only Elizabeth, Katie, and their one friend that actually lived across the road from us. It was just them through three. Well, when my girls decided they didn't want to anymore, the friend decided she didn't want to anymore, there I was without a Girl Scout group. <sighs> so I couldn't do Girl Scouts no more. But, that was then. But, so I still want to do it. Now, this was a while later, okay? But at our church, which was in Hattiesburg, I got to thinking about it. I would love to start another Girl Scout group. My girls is older. They're not in it. They don't want to be in it. But there's a lot of little kids here in this church. I would love to do a Girl Scout group with them and have our meetings in the back of the church. I talked to the pastor about it. He gave me the go for it. So I went for it. 
and I started another Girl Scout group with all the different age groups of Girl Scouts. I had every one of them because I did all the kids in the church that would do, that would join. And there were so many different ages and the different groups, you know, there were brownies, there were, oh, I don't even, but it started out daisies, then you moved up to a brownie, then you moved up to, brownies was Elizabeth's. Katie, no, okay, blah, blah. Katie started as a daisy, then she got to a brownie. Elizabeth started at brownie, and she got to the next one, which was the green uh, vest thing. What was hers called? <sighs> I can't remember now. But anyway, and then you went up to Colette's, which was higher. I think it's called Colette's. Cadets. Cadets. And then there was another one, I think. I can't remember all their names. But I had every one of them, almost. So I did that, and I enjoyed it for the longest several years. I just kept going. And then my first group of kids at the church grew out and left me, but I had others that had come in. So it was like I had a whole other new different group. Oh, my Lord, we met at the church. We had all kind of fun activities and crafts. It was so fun. I loved it. I had helpers to help me with them since it was such a big group of kids. Oh, I loved it. Okay. Then, so that dwindled down, you know, and I quit doing that. We moved to Tennessee. I wanted, wanted to. I thought about starting a Girl Scout group there at that church with those kids. But also, some of them were already going to a Girl Scout meeting, and I just... And it never did happen, you know. So then we move here. Okay, but backtrack. I'm getting ahead of myself here. In Collins, before we moved to Tennessee, after the Girl Scout stuff, I started a club group for myself. An adult club group. Okay. Audie was in it. Audie, do you remember our fun times we had? Jan was in it. Miss Elsie was in it. Aunt Bill came a couple of times, and that was all. <laughs> um, but we had fun, didn't we, Audie? Oh, we met once a month. We took turns. We'd have it in my house one month. The next month, we would have it in Audie's house or Jan's house, you know. Um, we did, like, we took turns. Like, everybody wrote down all of their difference. It was called a hobby club, okay? And even crafts are hobbies. Anything is a hobby. If you love to clean your house and you do that every day and try to find something to clean because you love to do it so much, that's a hobby. That was my hand I ring. <laughs> Lord bless her. <laughs> anyway, so cooking, baking is a hobby, anything. All right. So everybody wrote all of our different hobbies down on several pieces of paper that we like to do. And we mingled them and put them all in a, a basket or something. We had our name on each of our hobbies. So what we would do is we would draw one out. Whose ever name we drawed and whatever hobby that was. That's who brought the stuff for that hobby to our club meeting, kind of like a show and tell type thing, and showed like if it was collecting something. They brought some of their collection to the group, the club meeting, showed it to all of us and talked about the collection, talked about how much they love it, how they got started in it, when they got started in it, how long they did it, blah, 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 blah. That was our meeting for that, on that, that hobby. But we took turns. We swapped it out. So one time we would let a person show their hobby and talk about it. The next time we all brought a craft to work on to the meeting. And we all just sat there and we were doing like, uh, Audie would be doing plastic canvas. I would be doing crochet or something. And another one would be doing something else. Different things. And we would just sit there together and work on our craft and talk for our club meeting. Then we draw that, the end of that club meeting, we drawed to see who and what it would be for the next club meeting. But we took turns going to each other's house. 
So then the next time, it was the show and tell. Somebody showing and telling all about their hobby. One of their hobbies. So that was our club meeting. And it was so fun, wasn't it, Audie? I loved it. And during Christmas time, we drawed names. And each of us, whoever's name we draw, we got a gag gift for them. But also at our club meetings, we would, I had like a door prize. But I would like hide it under the chair. I know one time I hid it under the chair. And whoever happened to sit in that chair, that's who got that door prize, you know. So we just had all kind of fun in our club. Okay, then we moved to Tennessee, and I didn't get to get anything started now. There. Now we've moved here. I have not started nothing here. The point is, I love clubs. Okay? So, my new video series I want to do, I want it to be a club. What do y'all think about that? pause the video right now go down in the comments below so instead of doing the blog video i want to do a club series video comment in the comments below would you like that or would you not like that would you join my club do you want to join my club i want to kind of try to if i can i know it's not us all getting together physically in real time together and meeting having the meetings and it's video I'm not quite I know some of the things I want to do but I'm not quite sure exactly how with the video yet but I want to get all of that worked out and I want y'all to help me so pause the video go down in the comments below give me your ideals and opinions on how to do it what to include what can we do blah 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 all of that fun stuff. Um, but I kind of want to run it that way. Uh, I want each of us to show our hobbies and talk about them. Kind of like me and Audie did at our club meeting in Collins. And show our crafts that we do. And we already do that, I know. But I want it to be like for the club. And I want y'all... This is kind of what I'm thinking so far right now. In the video, I'll tell y'all what hobby and what craft. And I'm going to split that up. I know crafts are hobbies. But I have, the reason I'm doing that, because me. Now, all of y'all may not. Y'all may just have one hobby and it may be crafting. Even though you might craft a whole bunch of different types of things. That's fine. But for me... I have a lot of different crafts I do, different types and kinds that I call crafts, and then I have other things I do that I call hobbies, which is my tape palling, my journal lettering, my time capsule, you know, just stuff like that. I know I'm weird, my brain is weird, just appease me, okay? Now... So what I want to do is, in the video, I want to, and I'm going to do one of these every day. It's not going to be once a week or once a month thing. Like my vlog video, this is going to be every day, people. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, I am going to say in my videos what hobby that I'm doing that day or that I have done that day. Show it and talk about it. And what craft I have done. And that is, because I know every day I don't get to a hobby and don't don't get to a craft every day. So that's if I've gotten to one. If I don't get to one, I'll just tell y'all I didn't make it to get to one today. But then I'm going to ask y'all, did y'all get to your hobby and craft today? If so, what hobby did you do? What craft did you do? Tell us about it in the comments below. But, I would also, and I know it may be hard. Y'all already make videos. Y'all already show y'all's crafts and, and stuff like this. Um, and I guess y'all could just do that, but then include that video into the club. And what I mean by that, send it to me. 
and say that it's for my club or whatever. And I'll explain more in a minute. Showing your hobby and craft for that day. And I know this would be an everyday thing and I know it may be hard. That's why I'm saying I'm not really totally for sure yet how to go about doing it. So that's why I'm asking y'all's opinions. How would y'all do it? How do y'all think it's the best way to do this and go about this? Um, cause I want comments for sure, but I want some videos. Uh, I want to, um, I think I want to call it Shay's Club. Is that bad? Is that... What would you call that? Is that bragging? Is that con conceited? Is that... I don't know what the word would be. Y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Should I name it something else? It's, I feel like, you know, I'm the host over the club. I'm wanting to do it because I love clubs. I'm trying to get it started. If y'all will agree with me and join my club, you know, then I feel like it's my club. So, name it Shay's Club. Or do y'all have any better ideals to name it? Let me know your opinions in the comments below about that. Okay. Um... Also, in doing this club thing, I want you to let me know, and yes, this is a very long video. We have done went over our first 20 minute video. We're on the second one, one minute and se some seconds in, almost two minutes now. It's going to be long. I'm going to put them together and make it one video. I can't help it. Uh... So, what was I going to say next? Another thing I want to do, I want you to let me know in the comments below. So, pause now and let me know. Will you, or do you want to join my club and be in my club? Will you be in my club? Let me know in the comments below. Then, what I want to do. Just for fun. Everybody that says you want to be in my club, I'm going to let you be in my club, okay? I'm not going to say, no, you can't be in my club to anybody. You know what I mean? But you know how clubs, especially kids clubs, they do this thing where they call it an initiation into the club thing. So this would just be kind of for fun. I want to do something. I don't know what yet. But I would like to have y'all all do some little something to say that's the little initiation thing to get into my club, okay? Um, so y'all give me, pause now, go to the comments below, give me your ideals about what we could do for a little initiation thing. Then, I want to do this so bad, but I'm not sure I can. It's going to take more time when I upload my video and do the little bit of editing that I do. I don't really edit. I just put it up. But, uh, in the description box below every video for the club video series, everybody that is in my club, I would like to put a link in the description to y'all's channel. And then, of course, when y'all do certain videos with certain hobbies and crafts for the club, if we go that route, I would like to put links for those videos of y'all's in the description below. Whatever video that that is, goes with. I couldn't think of the word for it. Um... I don't know how much time this is going to take. I don't even know if I really know how to do that or can figure out how to do that. I'm going to try. If anyone knows out there how to do that and how to make it easier and less time for me, please let me know in the comments below. 
and I'm gonna try to figure it out. I want to do that so bad. Do y'all mind? Do y'all care if I put y'all's channel links in every description under every club video? Let me know. Um, I don't know how long I'll stick with it because, however, you know, it may take a long time. I may consider it hard and complicated. So, I may get tired of doing that after a while, after doing it for several times in a row for all these videos. So, then I might say, I don't want to do that anymore and stop doing that. I'm just letting y'all know and warning you that's how I am. I don't know. But I do want to do that so bad. So, let me know in the comments below everything I've asked you to let me know. I started asking you another question. I can't remember how I was, what I was going to ask exactly now. How do y'all feel about all this? How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about me putting the, vid the links for the first bunch and then getting tired and stopping and not doing it? Should I continue to do it? No matter how hard it is to me. Blah, 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 blah. Just give me your ideas, your opinions, your feelings on everything that I've asked you. Please, in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. And I guess that's all I have for right now. I can't think of anything else to tell you and ask you. So, I guess I'll say, I am out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Doo -doo.